Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. A uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left hand. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. Oh, you really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Carsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. <laughs> 